now the official recording is over. How are you guys? Yeah, we'll How are you guys? How are you guys? How are you guys? I think no words are needed for that. The little one. Oh, oh yeah! And now the opera starts. <laughs> <laughs> this is very awkward. Looks. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> Hello, Bakke, Kula. Hello. 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 Hi, Karma. Chetan, Sonakshi. Hello. How are you guys doing? How are you holding up in the lockdown? <clears throat> Good. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah? What's it like in Poland? Hello. It's stable, I would say. It's not too good, not too bad. Okay. And Somewhere in <laughs> between. <laughs> Ilona, where are you? Are you in, in Poland? Um, no, I'm in Scotland. How's it over there? Yeah. Is lockdown there? No. Uh, it is, but it's super nice lockdown because I'm really far from the city. I'm just in the nature. I can show you. <laughs> oh my God, that's beautiful. So we are isolated, but with a huge space around. So we are very, very, very lucky. <laughs> we, are, we are doing a, a, a replay of some of the pieces of uh, The Crossing at the Opera House. Remember where we performed at the Opera House, yeah? Oh the yeah. Royal Opera House in Bombay. So we are doing a replay of, of that. They are hosting it for that. And so as soon as they said that, I said it's going to be like super nostalgic. So we must get the whole cast together and, and chat and catch Aww. up and, and find out how you guys are doing and you know where you are, where you all are at and stuff like that. So I'm going to introduce you guys out. So yeah. actually start with the Polish people first. There's Bartek. Hello, Bartek. Hello. And that's Ula. Hi, Ula. Hello. And that is Ilona. Hi. <laughs> and then there is Karma, who's in New York. And there's Chetan, who's in India, in Mumbai. Sunakshi, who's in Delhi. Amazing, isn't it? Like, we're coming together. And at one time, we were all in the same city. And now we all come from different parts. And we find it catch up and chat at a time like this. How are you guys holding up? Mm. You guys Are you guys doing much dance right now? Or? Yes, yes, we are just yeah. yes, with the first rehearsal after the lockdown, so we are going back on stage in two weeks, so it's pretty exciting after such yeah. a long time of, of, of a pause. And Karma, New York, you all are, so, you're, you're grounded. Yeah, we're grounded and we've started our Zoom classes. Um, I'm not working on particular thing or project now, but I, I do yoga all, um, every day, improvise every day, so yeah. It's very creative time, but uh, in a completely different way than it was and used to be. <laughs> so, so, so for most of the people who watch this, like they, they don't know much about your background. So what I want each of you guys to do is like to share like, you know, like what your background is, how you started dancing and you know, and how long have you been with Zaviravanya, like working with Zaviravanya or, or, or dancing with Zaviravanya and how long have you guys danced with Natara? And so we can start with, with uh, let's start from uh, the bottom from Ilona. Okay. <laughs> um, so my background, but it was many, many years ago. Uh, it's rhythmic gymnastic. I was practicing uh, since I was very young. And then I switched to dance, I would say. Uh, yeah, and it's more than 10 years already. My main point of interest in contemporary dance but I also do some aerial things, uh, acrobatics oh. also. Um, yeah and I'm a freelance dancer working uh, in Poland and abroad. For now mainly in uh, Polish, in the Polish opera, in Zawirowania Dance Theatre and now in Scotland in Barrowland Ballet. Bartek Ula? Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> I start dancing with Bartek in a jazz dance group called uh, Alternative Data Tainzalus. It's in our um, 
Hometown. Hometown. Uh, Shedlce. Sorry, I, I lost. Sometimes I lost uh, words, so I need to ask my husband. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we start dancing at Shedlce with jazz dance group. Contemporary also. Contemporary also, yes. And then we start doing a dance theater in Shedlce also. Uh, right now we are we have uh, our own dance company because dance company. I think Bartek told you about it a little bit more because he's the main choreographer of that. And uh, I'm dancing uh, there, of course. And uh, I was dancing at Zabirovania with project with you. Bartek, do you want do you want to share your background? Sure. Uh, so, like Ola said, we started you dancing. To tell, you, have to tell, you have to tell them you're a professional. You don't do warm ups, eh? like from, don't forget to do that. <laughs> no yoga, no warm up, I, uh, no, no Coca Cola. <laughs> So the dancers are divided into two groups. <laughs> Don't let any of my students hear you, Batek, but it's okay. <laughs> so, no, I will not finish that. Um, so, okay, so uh, I started, like Ula said, um, we, we started dancing together at Formacja Tańca Wyszczesnego Luz, then Alternatywne Teatr Tańca Luz. And then I uh, was, um, uh, then I studied at the Rumber School of Ballet and Contemporary Dance in London, in the UK. Uh, in, in Denmark, I spent there three seasons and I worked uh, a bit in Polish, uh, in Poland as a freelancer. And uh, actually with Zawirowania, I uh, was working with them on mostly two projects. So the first project was the, the Blackout that I choreographed and I was also dancing in it. And the second part, uh, the second project was actually the project that, uh, that we did together. And like Ula said, at the, uh, at the moment uh, we have um, our own company because it's company that we established two years ago. And um, yeah, and that's our uh, actually main focus because we have um, over 20 performances this year plus two new premieres. So the things are really starting, uh, start getting uh, bigger. bigger and bigger, which we are super, super excited about. Karma, you want to go? <laughs> Share with everyone your background and how you got into dancing. And I started dancing in 2012. Uh, with the dance works in Delhi and after a year and a half I got into Ashley's program all the going home project and moved to Bombay and then NIDT started <laughs> it's been eight years now I think I started my dance career with the dance works I was born as a dancer over there in, in that academy and and now moved. now where are you you're in New York right I'm in New York yeah I'm in New it's York, about New York. I've been with the uh, Perry Dance now and um, doing my intensive program here and it's been already like my month is already finishing but we had so many gaps in between because of this lockdown so they're going to be extending my stay here and yeah it, it's been amazing doing online classes but before that I like I was really down and I was like oh no I can't do this like it's it's changing so much finding new ways to learn how to use this <laughs> in classes. So, Maxi? So, I've been with Danceworks for the last 20 years, out of its 21 years, as a student. And I only joined the company, say, about 10, 10 11 years ago. So, there was I was first just a company member. Then I did this um, Bollywood musical, which Ashley photographed, uh, called Jumru. For a couple of years, we were in the founding cast. That's we like to call ourselves that. And then, <laughs> then we I moved on to coming into the Going Home project, which eventually became Navnara. So, and I'm still in NIDP. Chetan, Chetan, your mic. Mic is off. <laughs> uh, that's okay. You're a dancer. You're not meant to know these things. Only Bartek knows all this tech stuff. <laughs> Bartek knows because when we were rehearsing, <laughs> three times he had to stop the rehearsal and, and come and press play because I didn't know how to use the computer. <laughs> so you are excused, it's okay. Yeah, so I started dancing actually with, uh, with my brother over here in this room and uh, I started with popping and I had to do something with it so I started, I, I, I joined Danceworks in 2011 and uh, yeah from there I started training and after that I did a going home project which led to Namtara 
and I'm still in Namtara. Good stuff. So, so tell me something, all of you guys, okay? Like first the Polish gang, okay? Like when when before you before you knew that there was going to be a collaboration with India, what was your expectation? What were you thinking? Honest now, okay? Now don't be don't be all politically correct, okay? But what were you thinking? So. <laughs> 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 we thought they were poly- no, 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 I'm joking. Um, definitely, we were. I, I think we. I hope we were all. I was excited about that, but I don't think I was uh, like you know imagining something particular. So I was kind of an, like an open page that, uh, like a blank page that was open for 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 anything. I hope. Ilona, for you, how was your first experience uh, with India? In the beginning, I have to say, I don't know why, but I always dreamt about going to India, really. Uh, somehow my heart was calling me uh, in love in, in Indian um, people and your culture. Really, I'm super honest. I, I'm just uh, fascinated by your generosity and open heart. I remember even our premiere in Mumbai um, speaking with some people from the audience and the way they uh, they were speaking about our show, how it influenced them, how, how they uh, yeah, experienced our show. It was something very special, honest and deep, like speaking by their soul. Uh, really, uh, uh, I still remember that, and I I, I love that. <laughs> I know, I know a lot of the, I know a lot of the Indian audience. All they kept coming back to me and telling her, "What is the length of her legs?" <laughs> <laughs> like, I know that legs? many what long legs like, because Indian people are not very long. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> like we have a few freaks like Sonakshi, but even her long is nothing compared to your long. <laughs> Your long is long, you know what I mean? Like, so I remember all of them. Really believe me. Who was that uh, girl with the long legs? You know? <laughs> and, and you guys, Chetan, Karma, Sunakshi, what was the what was your expectation before going to Poland? And what was the what was it after you came? Like, and all also can say what was the experience after? Yeah. This is this is my first collaboration in which ways with outside dancers, and I was really really excited about it. I was expecting to learn something out of it, definitely, but yeah. I didn't have any expectations because, well, it was all our first collaboration in general. But I, I think for me, I got, I was excited, but I think I was a little scared initially. I was, I had this thing. I don't, I don't know. It was completely new territory for me. So, because I'm like this protected child in dance work. So this was the first time I've actually gone out there, and it was really scary initially. And, but then eventually like I, I eased into the process and then I kind of got into it and I understood it. But initially the first thing I did not expect anything and I was scared. Uh, how was the experience for you guys all together as a team as all six of you like you know working together like you guys in you guys working in, in Poland, you guys working in India. Just pump in. Tell me, tell me, tell me what the experience was like. You can just go anytime. Anybody can go. <laughs> I yeah. enjoyed myself. I we made like we made such good friends with everyone. We're all we've all become such good friends. We're still in touch with each other. We're still we still have this little group that we talk to each other. We wish each other on our on each other's birthdays, on some yeah. anniversaries we wish them. So I think it was it's been a great experience for us. I think the culture was also very different compared to like and the language barrier. Because initially it was like, uh, okay, I don't know what she's saying. But it was fun also because then there was a different language, common language which we shared. And what, and that was interesting, I thought. Uh, first of all, everyone, as I felt that, um, everyone was very, very open in a human way, but also in an artistic way. We were very willing to... To know each other, to to create together, that was really beautiful. But this dialogue between uh, between us as a human, us as a artists, and uh, people from different backgrounds and cultures, it was amazing. the The exchange was very, very uh, interesting. 
I remember this feeling, this, this strong desire to understand and to follow. And I think it, yeah, it was... And I'm not very, very good at explaining, so it's tough. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not only words, it's about, I don't know, the present, uh, presence uh, during our rehearsals and the way of working, of uh, ideas also. <laughs> and, and, and when you guys were rehearsing, like at, we'll come to the joint piece, but when you all were independently rehearsing, like at times, because I know in our rehearsal sometimes I give you all space to work and I'm sure Elvira gave them space to work. Like did you all have friction and stuff? Like did you all, did you all have fights and stuff? Or did you all, no. Did, they're like, like, no, it was like this. Come on, like, that. It was smooth, it was smooth as butter. It was just... Is it? Fine. Yeah. Oh, like, oh. Are you sure? What fights are like... Talking about no? No? No, I don't know anything okay. about any fights. Like I've never uh, seen Sanatya and Chetan so friendly. How, how do you even spell <laughs> fights? Wait, let me Google it. <laughs> I'm gonna. So okay, okay. Here's, here's, another, here's another question. Here's another question. Here's another question. Because the three of you guys were working together. The three of them were working together separately. So amongst the three of you in Poland, and amongst the three of you in India, from the Indian team and the Polish team, who was the alpha in the Polish team and who was the alpha in the Indian team? There must be one alpha who was like, you know, making sure everything was together. Who was the alpha? Karma Sikh Sanakshi. Whenever Karma is. <laughs> Karma is above you. Oh. Uh, I was just saying, like, I don't think there was like an alpha. I think there was like a... We kind of divided uh, our roles into like specific roles. So one, so someone was better with count, someone was better with, I know, intention, someone was better with... Uh, with uh, movement, uh, or something. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And like the, the only problem was when um, both of us, for example, knew counts differently, and everyone was sure that they're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come to only that. Both, that, that, was, that was the funny story. Only so both no, of us, but everyone sick, of that's us. That's a story, <laughs> because she was sick, but that's a whole different story. Whenever we saw the rehearsals, everyone had. What Bartek said is actually true. Like there was, like Ilona would lead intentionally, Bartek would lead the counts. And like, uh, Ilona would always remember the choreographies. Except the last uh, section, she would forget the... <laughs> <laughs> so now the world knows. <laughs> and Bartek, Bartek, and, and Polish guys, who do you believe is the alpha in this group, in the Indian group? So like what I actually think is that uh, I think Sunak she was like the uh, she, she she would take care of of like a, uh, I don't know uh, like the I would say the relationship and the the atmosphere but also the intention between people I think Karma was uh, like alpha in terms of the choreography and the counts and precision and I think Chaitan was like um, how can I say that it was like making sure that everyone is okay, that there are, everything is calm, no like drama, no fights, <laughs> everything is like, you know, it's like... Okay. So I would say like it was also very like a, a, like a divided kind of um, leadership in a good way. So you guys, you guys were talking about when you all were combining, you were counting differently. What do you mean counting different? Yeah, we were counting very differently. Everyone's one Every was different. <laughs> Every rehearsal we stepped in, everyone is counting different. They're like, uh, we don't care, uh, let's follow someone. <laughs> let's follow <laughs> someone. Just it doesn't any... matter if it's so right who, So who did you finally end up following? Ilona. Oh, Ilona. We really? The oh my gosh. <laughs> so, Ilona is the, so Ilona is the alpha then in the group. Yes. No, no guys, I'm really terrible in counting. So if you followed me, I'm very sorry for that. No, actually, I think I think you guys did a fabulous job when you all came together. Tell me something just a little bit. What was it like outside rehearsals? Because I remember like both in Poland and in India when the, when you all used to get together, it was always fun. And 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 for me like when I went with the Polish collaboration for me, I felt so so looked after. You know, especially with y'all guys, with Bartek, you know, if I was stuck anywhere, I just call up Bartek and Bartek would be, boom, we'd be there, you know. I think what made that collaboration work for me was that it was more like, it was love, there was a lot of love and a lot of home. And that I think was what brought the collaboration together for me. I think that it was, was really a fusing of more than just dance, I think for me. 
I felt we actually fused as people. You know, we really like let our hair down, we combined, we laughed, we had a really, really good time. I really enjoyed that collaboration the most. I felt at home. I How did you all feel coming to India? Uh, oh. These oh. days that I spend in the, <laughs> in the bed, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course. Uh, in fact, I was ill after a few days in India, but thanks to that, even more I experience your care and kindness because you helped me a lot to go through that. But still, even if we have uh, not so much days to spend together, I really love that. And I remember our trip to uh, the island of Elephant, yeah? Elephant, yeah, Elephant yeah. Island. Okay. Wow, such an amazing time that we spent together. Really, it makes me think and feel that I miss you so much, all of you. And I hope we will meet somehow, somewhere in Poland, India, New York, Scotland, I don't know. And you guys want to share your experience in Poland? I still remember the late night walk we had in that what park was it oh my god that was that was such a long night but um everyone was tired of the rehearsals and stuff but we managed to take some time out for ourselves and we took a walk over there and it was lovely i will never old forget town. was it old town yes so do you, do do you, do you guys want to do you guys want to share a message with the people who are going to watch the crossing the segments of the crossing uh, at the Royal Opera House uh, screening? Do you guys want to share a message of of what to expect to them? I think for these particular shows, I would just say don't read it. Just just watch it and and try to to think of it uh, about the the shows as a really the crossing of the culture, the crossing of different traditions, the crossing of different inspirations, the crossing of different languages, not only in terms of the, the language we speak, but the, the language we communicate as, a da as dancers and just uh, just see what happens. That, that, that would be my kind of uh, reward before the show. And you guys, do you, any, you want to say something, what to expect? I think Bartek uh, yeah, yeah, made some stuff for everyone. It's a small thing from me. Actually, I wanted to thank you because um, sometimes while improvising, I still thinking about this that you gave me once on the rehearsal, like uh, connect to your own rhythm. And it's really helpful while uh, improvising the, the inner rhythm. I don't know what it is exactly, but it helps me a lot. So thank you for that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wrap this up. And uh, okay, for those of you watching, we are going to be doing a presentation of this tomorrow. Uh, the original show was called The Crossing and it had a performance first in, in Poland at, uh, by Zawirowania. Then it was presented at the Opera House and then we went back to Poland and did the whole thing again yeah, for another festival. So, well, hope you guys uh, enjoy it and hope you guys have fun. Uh, nice chatting with you guys. It was like super, super lovely to catch up with you again. Do, do oh, take care yeah. and look after yourself. Stay safe and be in touch. Yeah. And with you too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. absolutely. Thank you. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> you too. See you guys. Take care.